Yes, my fried chicken, garlic toast, spaghetti, homemade string beans. Let me show you how to make it. And then for the meat, for the spaghetti, I'm using ground turkey. Yes, the ground turkey, the more healthy option. For the people who say they don't eat ground beef, yeah, whatever. But I'm still gonna put two of these in here and some ground beef. <laughs> Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. These are fresh green beans my Angie told me to come get. So these are fresh green beans. You see, she got them on her garden. Then she said she been having for me for two months. So I got them. Finna cook them. I wash them off y'all. Wash our vegetables. Wash them now. Homemade shrimp beans. I got garlic in here. I got onions and I got a little butter. All right, y'all. Bye. I see my homemade shrimp beans up with onion, garlic, my garlic oil, and garlic. Seed and salt and butter. That's all you need. Finna put them on the stove. Okay, bye. And I made some good, sweet southern cookie. <laughs> and it's good and sweet. Ooh wee wee wee. <laughs> so what color bear pepper y'all use for y'all spaghetti? How much you get? I used the green bear pepper. I cut all of it out. I used by that much. Put the rest of it in here for another day. Then I already got some chopped onion. Oh Lord, they strong. And what I do, I just chop it up. Chop it up. Give it a nice rough chop, chop, chop. Yeah. Nice rough chop. After that, flour my chicken. So, y'all, the perfect ingredients to make some good crispy fried chicken is put it in your flour, seasoned flour. Take it out. Put it on like a cupboard, a clean cupboard. And let it sit. To the grease get good and hot. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. What I use to season my chicken with, season salt, black pepper, garlic salt, parsley, thyme, oregano, Jamaican seasoning, and a little pineapple juice and a little mango juice. I let it marinate for like about an hour or two. All right, y'all. Okay, another batch to put in the flour and let it sit for a minute. Another drumstick. Another thighs. Let me tell y'all something. My favorite part of the chicken is thighs. Yes, I love me some thighs. Because they tender and juicy and moist. Love me a thigh. <laughs> okay, all right, y'all. The next batch. Okay, again, another batch of chicken. Put on my cutting board so it can sit. Till the grease get hot and ready. Well, let me tell y'all something. For the best chicken, crispy chicken, do not put too much flour on your chicken. No, don't put too much flour on your chicken. Don't nobody want to taste nothing but um, um, flour and crust. Instead of chicken, you want to taste equal parts. 50 chicken, 50 crust. Yes, Lord. So, y'all, when I finish season my ground turkey and my ground beef with, you already know. Season your meat, people. Hold on, you got to season your meat, people. Season it. That's it. Then, you know, after they break down, I put the bed paper and onions and some of my garlic and my oil. Mm -hmm. Probably need a little more flavor. Alright, y'all. 
And then, y'all, I'm finna put my garlic and herb, my, my garlic and oil in here. Yeah. Yeah, I got to see. You get it. Smelling good. And then when this get the brown, I get to put the the bad pepper and onions in there. All right. So I already put the bad peppers and onions up in here. Time for the next step. So you get your favorite tomato sauce. I like this, but I do got some more of us. And you pull it off. And get your favorite tomato sauce. Why this gone? You got it, y'all. Make sure you rinse your cans off. Make sure. All right, y'all. See y'all. And then fill it up with water. Shake it up. Ah. Just like that. Okay. Some people add a little sugar in there. Some people don't. Some people add even sugar in there. Some people don't. Yeah. I'm gonna add a little sugar in mine. That's it. Bye. Look at this meat sauce. If your meat sauce ain't like this, what you making?